division is still causing everyone loads of trouble and always does year on year and it takes ages to get your head around this but it's pretty well guaranteed to turn up in the 11 plus as sure as i've got more chins than a chinese telephone directory it's going to be there so let's have a look how does this work we're going to start with some easy ones we've got nine no we haven't Actually, that does raise a valid point. One of the most important things is actually making sure that you write down the question right. You'll be surprised at how many times it goes wrong at that stage. So I've got my sheet down here. So when you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. It's three into nine. And you know that, that nine, nine divided by three is three. Now let's try another one. We've got number two, we've got four, divided by one. So four sweeties divided between one person. How many will I get? I will get four. Now number question number three, we've got 21 divided by three. 21 um, bags of crisps divided amongst three fat dogs will give them seven each. Happy so far? All right, let's... Um, try the next row we've got ooh now this will need to have some thinking about we've got eight four six divided by 94 let's have a quick common sense thing we'll say 800 divided by 100 our guesstimate is going to be about eight ish happy um ooh now, I don't really like this one because if I was to use the bus stop method, I don't know why, but does that look like a bus stop to you? 94 into 84 doesn't go, does it? I'm going to use this method, and that's the problem with long division. You do need to have a number of different techniques up your sleeve to know what to use when. I'm going to go 8, 4, 6 divided by 94. Now, what number will go in the numerator and the denominator? Uh, demons come from down below, so that's why we call that the denominator. That is, of course, complete rubbish. So, well, let's try two, because if you're feeling a bit meh, and they're both even numbers, always go for two. Two goes into that nine four times, remainder one. Two goes into 14 seven times. Oh, whoopee doo, 47 is a prime number. But nonetheless, it's smaller than 94. 2 goes into 8 four times, 2 goes into 4 two times, and 2 goes into 6 three times. Still doesn't help, does it? We've now got 47 into that. We've just got to work out our 47 times table. It's all been singing and dancing here, hasn't it? But actually, have a look at that. That's very close. If we had 1 up there and 10 down here, so 1 times 47 will be 47. 10 times 47 will be 470. Look, that's not a lot less, is it? I think that might even be 9 times. Because remember, we want it to be about 8 or 9. Let's just try that, shall we? 47 times 9. 9 times 7 is 63. Ooh, looking good. 4 times 7 is 36, and 6 is 42. Good. So 47 goes into that once, 47 goes into that 9 times. Our answer is 9. Some of them just are a bit complicated, and you need to pull out all the guns. Let's try this one. 260 divided by 65. Now, I could have used the bus stop method, 65 into 260. I could have written it out like that, but it's not really very useful because 65 doesn't go into 26. So I just got to work out the whole caboodle. So we're going to use the fraction method because then I can then divide it out. Um, just as if you say you had a half, you'd say one pizza divided by two people. This is 
260 divided by 65. Now, what number will go into both the top, the numerator, and the bottom, the denominator? I'm going to go 5. 5 goes into that once, remainder 1. 5 goes into 15, 3 times. 5 goes into 26, 5 times, remainder 1. 5 goes into 10, twice. Ah! Now, we've got 13 into 52. Well, 13 and 13 is 26. 26 and 26 is 52. So 13 goes into 13 once, 13 goes into 52 four times. So the answer would be four times. And I've got the answers here. It's always handy to check because sometimes it just goes badly wrong. Now this one, ooh, I'll write it out, 67 into 402. 67 is a prime number. That means it doesn't belong in anybody else's times tables except its own, the 67 times table, and 1. Also, 67 is bigger than 40, so we can't break it down that way. We've just got to see what happens. So we're going to trundle our way through the 67 times table. So 1 down to 10, 5, and we'll see what we get there. So 1 times 67 would be 67. 10 times 67 would be 7, 6, 7, 0. Oh, just slap a naught on. And then 5 times that will be half. That's at 300 and 35. I think, I think that's therefore going to be 6, isn't it? That looks about, so we just add on our 67 there. Um, 5 and 7 is 12, looking good. Uh, 3, 9, 10, carry the 1, naught down, 4, yeah. So there it is, 6 times. Was that seven? Oh, I see. Yeah. So that's all right, isn't it? Six times. See what I mean about just different techniques? And that's why it takes a while to get to learn this. So be kind to yourself. Rome wasn't built in a day. Next one. Uh, we have 91. It's another wretched prime number. So 91 into 728. And 91 it's bigger than this number here. So it's not like I can go 91 into that. We just end up with 91 into 728. So we'll treat ourselves to a different colour because we're getting fed up. One up there, 10 down here, 5 here, and then we can work it out. What we could do is say, say that was 100. How many times does 100 go into that, 7, except it's quite, it's, it's, it's a chunk less, so I'm going to estimate 8. We'll just do 67 there, um, 600, what am I doing? Oh, that was the last question, wasn't it? And that's why you should always use written workings, because numbers from one question inevitably will contaminate the next question. If you write it down, you've got a better chance of spotting when these things happen, but happen it will. So 1 times 91 is 91, 10 times 91 is 110, um, 5 times uh, 91 will be half this one, so that's 45, 455, I'm going to go for that. Um, so it's a bit more than that. I still fancy this 8, so let's just try that. 91 times 8. 1 times 8 is 8. 7 times 8 is 72. Oh, yeah, that was a bit easy, really, wasn't it? Um, so the answer is 8. Should we write answer next to answer? I think probably what was happening, my um, subconscious was screaming out, this is the answer. Um, but I was too too held on the process to actually listen to doesn't matter some you win some you lose now this slightly nicer numbers here eight six eight 
How many times does 28 now go into 86? Can you see 28 is smaller than 86, so that helps. Not feeling too zippy this evening, as you may have been able to tell. So let's just work out to 28 times 28 plus 28. Write that down in case we get confused. 8 and 8 is 16. Carry the 1, 56. Should we add, um, hang on. So we've got 28, 56, and we'll add 8 and 6. Well, I'm going to make that one times. That's two times. I'm going to do three times. 8 and 6, because that will be one times and two times. Together we'll make three times. 8 and 6 is 14. Carry the 1. 5, 7, 8. Ooh, whoopie doo, this is looking good. So three goes into that. Now, we could work out the takeaway, you know, the leftovers in our head, but why, when you can use written workings, three times 28, we'll just use this 86 here, because we've already written it, to save ourselves the time. So 86, takeaway 84, will give us two leftover. Now, sometimes you might like to put it up there, but it's difficult to see, isn't it? So we're just going to bring down that 8 here next to the 2 we've already written. 28 goes into 28 once. Don't worry that it's all going horrible. Um, but I've got an idea. Why don't you try that one? Go on. Shut it up. You can shut it up. Good. Of course. 71 Smarties divided amongst 71 people gives them one each. Sometimes the numbers are kind. We like kind numbers. So that was wobbling my camera. Now we've got 29. Mm. See, I just forgot to write the 9. I'm getting fed up with this brown. 29 into 406. Now, at least 29 is smaller than this 40. So, And that's going to be once, isn't it? We won't work out the, t the remainders in our heads because why? So 10, take away 9 is 1, 3, take away 2 is 1, bring down the 6. Ooh. How many times do we think 29 goes into that? I think it's going to be 4. If that was 30, it would be 30 and 30 makes 60, and 30 makes 90, and 30 makes 120. And so it's just 4 off. We'll just to check it, we'll go 29 times 4. Once you get zippy at these things, it just leaps out. But um, 9 times 4 is 36. 2 times 4 is 8. And 3 is 11. There we are. And that's our answer. 406 divided by 29 equals 14. Uh, go on. Let's have a look at the next one. Oh, it's another. Oh, no. 57 isn't a prime number. It feels like it's a prime number, doesn't it? That means a number that only features in its own times table and the one times table. But if we add up the 5 and the 7, the two digits, and they become a multiple of 3, which they do, because 5 and 7 makes 12, 12 is in the 3 times table, we know 3 goes into this. So I am going to use the fraction method, because if I had written it out like this, 57 into 513, you can see 57 is bigger than 51, which we don't like, do we? We don't. So 3 goes into the top and the bottom, we hope. 3 goes into that once, remainder 2. 3 goes into 27, 9. Still end up with a prime number, but at least it's smaller. 3 goes into that 5. Once, remainder 2, 3 goes into 21, 7, 3 goes into 3, once. Now we've got to work out how many times 19 goes into 171. Well, 10 times 19 would be 190, wouldn't it? And that doesn't look a lot less. In fact, I would say could even be 19 less, can't it? Let's just try it, shall we? Take away 19, and that will give us 9 times, just in case we forget. 8 
10 take away 9 is 1. Ooh, looking good. 8 take away 1 is 7. Yes. So 19 goes into 19 once. 19 goes into 171. How many times? 9. See, it was worth writing it down just to, and that's our answer. Write it down before we get confused and check the answer we've got. And 12. Let's have a 23 in 2, 207. 23 is bigger than 20. 23 is a prime number. Um, but 10 times 23 would be 230, wouldn't it? And that's not a lot less. So let's just take away 23. Why did I write 3? Why did I write 3? Take away tw 23. 3 from naught we can't do. Borrow. 10 take away 3 is 7. Oh, we like that. 2 take away 2 is naught. 2 take away nothing underneath is 2. Good. So that went in nine times. Do you agree? I hope so. Right, we'll finish that and then we'll do another little video in a minute. See you soon. Bye. Oh, hang on.